हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बाइनरी फेस शिफ्ट की टेक्निक अलोंग विद इट्स प्रोबेबिलिटी एरर राइट सो बेस्ड ऑन द बीपीएस के व्हाट एवर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी आर गोइंग टू बी लेवलिंग वन स्टेप अहेड दैट इज वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग विद वन मोर काइंड ऑफ फेस शिफ्ट की टेक्निक दैट इज कॉल्ड एज क्वाड्रेजर फेस शिफ्ट की टेक्निक ओके but here if we compare it with bpsk the number of transmitting symbols which we are going to be using is four symbols because as the word suggests it is quadrature phase shift king okay four symbols we need to be considering for that we should be having four signals all by all together and it will be varying with respect to different values of phi okay so that's why the value of m is four here number of bits per symbol that is n is equal to log log m that is log 2 to the uh, log 2 base m so we will be getting log 2 ba uh, base uh, log 4 base 2 we will be getting log 4 as 2 so the number of values of n is equal to 2 also the symbol duration that is equal to the bit duration that is given by log m base 2 that is 2 into tb okay so tb is the time period required for the one single bit to be traveled okay so this is the symbol duration that is given by 2 times tb the value of m is 4 in this case and the number of bits per symbol we are using is 2 okay so these are the things which you need to be knowing before getting started for the qpsk transmission okay now you see here it transmits the group of zeros and ones or in their combination okay that is if it is same as bpsk itself transmit the group of zeros and ones that is if you compare say it as group you would be having four combinations under that group why because that's why it is called as quadrature group of zeros and ones that is if you make a group of uh, two elements that is zero zero that would be one combination then zero one that would be one more combination one zero and one one like that we are having four combinations four combinations so that's why we are using the term quadrature that's why it is def defined as it transmits the group of zeros and ones or their combination okay so that's why it is given by quadrature so now qpsk transmitted signal is given by this expression that is si of t si of t is given by under root 2e by t cos of 2 pi fc t plus 2i minus 1 into pi by 4 okay why pi by 4 because we are having four quadrants and each quadrant is divided into four different angles of 45 degrees for a complete 180 degree so that's why pi by 4 so where i varies from 1 to m why is 2i minus 1 because 2i minus 1 indicates that it would be different for different quadrants okay so that's why that is given here you see here s1 of t is given by root 2e by t cos 2 by f c t plus pi by 4 where the value of i is 1 so if you substitute the value of i as 1 you would be getting 2 minus 1 that is 1 itself so this is pi by 4 for s2 of t it is 3 pi by 4 s3 of t it is 5 pi by 4 and s4 of t it is 7 pi by 4 okay when i is equal to 1 2 3 4 respectively we would be getting these four signals here okay so please note this down also we know that cos of a plus b is given by cos a cos b minus sin a sin b okay so that we are going to be replacing in this equation here that is si of t is equal to root 2e by t into cos 2 pi fct cos 2i minus 1 pi by 4 minus sin 2 pi fct sin 2i minus 1 pi by 4 okay so this is noted down here please uh, highlight it now here we need four quadrants to represent a qpsk signal as mentioned therefore the value of n is equal to 2 with respect to the basic function so that's why the basis functions are phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t whereas in case of bpsk we had only one but in case of qpsk we are using two basis functions one is phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t so phi 1 of t is given by root 2 by t cos 2 pi fct and phi 2 of t is given by root 2 by t sin 2 pi fct because they are opposite in phase okay so that's why the two angles are different so these many things are over now this you represent in the signal generated that is s1 of t so s1 of si of t is given by root e cos 2i minus 1 pi by 4 into phi 1 of t minus sin 2i minus 1 pi by, pi by 4 into phi 2 of t so with respect to the combinations it is given by this table you see here 
for binary digit 10010011 it is chosen randomly okay you can be choosing it randomly it, it does not it need not be on the of the same choice here okay so for 10 the phase is pi by 4 0 1 it is 3 pi by 4 0 0 it is 5 pi by 4 and 1 1 it is 7 pi by 4 okay so with respect to these phases here the message coordinates are e by 2 root e by 2 minus root e by 2 minus root e by 2 and root e by 2 for 0 1 and for 0 0 it is both are negative and for 1 1 it is both are positive okay so with respect to these message coordinates generated we are going to be drawing the constellation diagram of phi 2 of t and phi 1 of t okay where we are going to be marking these coordinates that is for s1 s1 is located here if you observe this is root e minus root e by 2 and this is root e by 2 so that's why s1 would be located here s2 would be located here s3 where both the are negative values and s4 both are positive values okay like that the points are located here and they are joined here and in this way the constellation diagram of a qpsk is drawn okay so this is drawn you note it down now for the generation and detection for that you need to be knowing the qpsk transmitter how it works qpsk transmitter works as the group of binary input that is there are four combinations 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 any one of the combination is given first then the polar nrz level of encoding takes place then the after that the output generated is a qpsk signal that is going to be in the giving given to the demultiplexer the job of the demultiplexer is to reduce the bit level and it will be slicing down to one bit okay which is required and that is given to the two basis functions that is phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t and based on that the summation of that would be giving you the for final signal s i of t okay so this is the transmitting block and for the receiving block in order to get our uh, signal back you need to be considering the x of t signal and based on that two uh, orthonormal basis functions and it is going giving to the integrator and the output generated is the observation vectors there are two observation vectors generated in case of qpsk that is x1 and x2 and that is given to the decision device okay and based on the decision device it would be predicting whether the bit is 0 or 1 okay if here it is 0 this would be 1 and if here it is 1 this would be 0 okay and those two different bits are giving to the are given to the multiplexer and it would be slicing down the bit and binary output is generated okay so this way the receiver and transmitter block works under qpsk now for the observation vectors we have two observation vectors for that you need to be knowing its expression okay so observation vector is given by this term as you know that is x1 is given by integration of 0 to t x of t into phi 1 of t dt where uh, x of t is equal to si of t plus w of t where w of t is the white gaussian noise so that's why this is substituted here and uh, it is written so x1 is integration from 0 to t s i of t is this term whatever we have written right that i have substituted it here that is root e cos 2i minus 1 pi by 4 into phi 1 of t minus sin 2i minus 1 pi by 4 into phi 2 of t okay plus omega t into phi 1 of t dt so now after further simplification and all we would be getting root e integration from 0 to t cos 2i minus 1 pi by 4 into phi 1 square of t if we multiply phi 1 of t on both uh, here we have phi 1 and here we have phi 1 so it would be phi 1 square of t and here we are having minus sine 2i minus 1 pi by 4 into phi 1 of t into phi 2 of t dt plus w of t into phi 1 of t dt okay so if we solve this you would be getting root e cos 2i minus 1 pi by 4 plus w okay why because we are having one term that is phi 1 square of t right so that's why this whole term would be getting cancelled out and this would be equal to 1 it would be equated to 1 and this remains as it is and here we are having sine term so that's why sine of any angle with respect to the change in value that would be equal to 0 so this whole term cancels out so we would be left with this term and this term that is root e cos 2i minus 1 pi by 4 plus omega w okay so this is for the observation vector x1 similarly for x2 again the same procedure you follow it and uh, after substituting the values and simplifying i'm not repeating again just uh, observe this very carefully i'll just if you want to pause the video and refer it you would be getting the x2 value as the uh, negative value of the same thing okay that is minus root e 
the again the angle is changed from cos to sin and we are getting 2i minus 1 pi by 4 plus w okay where this factor of w is common for both the observation vectors that is the white noise so like this we are getting the values of x1 and x2 with respect to the transmission and uh, reception that is generation and detection of qpsk signal with respect to the observation vector okay so yeah that's all for this video guys these were the things which i wanted to discuss under the concept of quadrature phase shift keying I hope you understood the basic difference between BPSK and QPSK and how the signals are generated and how the signals are transmitted. Okay. So these many things, if they ask in the exam, if you write it easily, you could be scoring full marks in that question. Okay. So whatever I mentioned, please note it down guys. Very important. So in the next video, we are going to be discussing with the probability of error of this QPSK signals. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you in the next video. That's all guys. Thank you.